Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. First thing that I would like to delve into tonight is a, uh, a question that Scott brought up, and that is how much do we use our muscles when we're reaching? So I made a big point of uh, how we're, you know, we want to really relax and, and release as much of muscular tension as possible when we were, were reaching so as to allow the energy to do the work. And uh, so the question, I, I, I guess really it, it is, what is, what are the muscles doing and uh, are we using muscles at all? And that's the, 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 the first part of the question. And, and the, um, the answer that I have is that you're always using muscles. Even you're just, you know, even if you're a puddle on the floor, you're using muscles. So it's a, uh, uh, it is not an either or thing. It's like, question is, where are you putting your focus? And uh, let me just adjust this camera a little bit. There we go. Okay. So the, uh, where are you putting your focus when you're, when you're doing it? Because, you know, if you're standing up, you're using muscles. If you're reaching your arm out, you're using muscles. Question is, is are they is muscular contraction your point of emphasis, or are you is something else in play here? And what I've found is that if you are kind of pulling yourself into position, that is, you're imagining you're say you're you're reaching with your wrist, say your your the wrist becomes the 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 point of attention, and you're pulling your arm into position with uh, with your intention then and instead of it being pushing it which would be a localized muscular contraction you are reaching which then you're activating the whole system so muscles will be involved but you're actually activating a something much bigger which is a that whole body connection which then the muscles then act in a supportive capacity. So if you are, you know, if you're reaching out and you say, yes, but my muscles are working, it's like, yes, they will be, but they should be letting go so that they're not, when you reach out, you're not pulling, also pulling back. The thing is, and if you just try it right now, if you just make a fist and you, you go to punch out and do it slow motion, you can notice that that there are some muscles pulling back as you're as you're reaching out. And that's because when we're pushing, we're kind of establishing a firm place to push from, and then we extend outward from there. Whereas if we're reaching, the the whole system is is already established, and so the extension is one that is rather. Uh, efficient and bordering on effortless. So uh, you want to get you want to get that. The, uh, the second part of the question that Scott was asking was how much of it is connective tissue and how much of it is your is your muscles. And the uh, again it's, it's 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 a both and kind of thing there where you're by using your intention and you're extending from actually pulling yourself into position when you reach, then you are creating space within your body, which allows that, that expansion. And then the muscles kind of follow along in a supportive role. So that's a, the simplest way I can, I can talk about it. Any questions on that or any, uh, any confusions? Yeah, Scott. So, um... I was asking about I was asking about that. My question was the reason I was asking is if if you're doing you know so if I'm if I'm doing some kind of strength building exercise and I am coherent and everything else, am I defeating the purpose of building muscle or is it? You will build muscle. Yes, you will build muscle, and you will, uh, uh, but it'll be a different kind. So the uh, in the classics they talk about focus on the sinews rather than the than the muscles and it's a fine distinction there but the 
the sinews refer mostly to the tendons. So that is the tendons where the uh, uh, muscles uh, attach to either bone or to uh, ligaments. Um, and so the, uh, when you're doing that, you're working with your connective tissue system as your primary focus. So it's gonna be a, a, a different kind of muscle, muscle uh, development. It was sort of a, a long lean kind of muscle development rather than, than the uh, short compact thing where you, you get the really you know big biceps and that kind of thing. It, it's more of a, an extension rather than a, uh, than a contraction. And so you're, you're going to get more effective power than you will with the other, with, with, with a more of a contracted kind of muscles. That way you can get, you can get lots of power, but it, lots of strength, but it's not, uh, it's not an efficient power. So it doesn't have the same uh, uh, usefulness, at least for the, the internal martial arts that we're, we're, we're practicing. Is that, uh, is that answer the question there, Scott? Good, okay, beautiful. Anybody else? All right, so moving on. So I had a, uh, a great uh, uh, lesson with uh, Master Yang Fu Kui yesterday and, uh, and he pointed out that we are now entering the month that is uh, governed by the liver and gallbladder. And uh, and uh, so it, it's like, I guess I, I realized that when we said that, that, that not only are the seasons governed by elements where you have winter is, is water and spring is, is wood and summer is fire and the late summer is earth and then fall is metal. But we also, each month has its own, uh, organ that is that comes to the um, uh, comes to focus and by cultivating the energy of those particular organs that we promote health because we're kind of in alignment with the seasons and we promote health and uh, and promote longevity as a result of that also so we did a uh, did some uh, liver exercises, liver gallbladder exercises, which are, uh, I wanna share with you tonight. And the uh, uh, so developing uh, the, the chia, that's liver energy is the energy which is, is uh, uh, governs the, um, or it's expressed, uh, uh, the wood chi expresses itself through the, through the liver. And the, uh, the energy of, of liver is, uh, uh, he explained it as a, a happy anger is the, uh, is the energy. It's, it's like there's a, a drive, a, a, a young impulse to get started. So you see that expressed in the springtime where they, you know, the plants are like pushing up through, through the snow even, you know, to get uh, uh, to, to come up and, and reach to the sun. So there's a there's an expansion there that is is there's a drive there. And that's that's something because that liver energy is what feeds the heart. And so the um, we need that we need that wood and that happy anger of the, of that as we're doing that. So the um, um, liver is the yin side of the wood energy and and gallbladder is the yang side and there are there are a pair in, in Chinese medicine but uh, so we're going to do a couple of exercises and um, uh, explore that okay so let's uh, what you stand up we'll get right to it Okay, we're going to start off uh, with the uh, three pillars. Really establish our 
our foundation, the three pillars of body, mind, spirit, integration. You want to feel the earth with your feet. And you're primarily focused on the balls of your feet, allowing your, your weight to just kind of settle down. Think of it like, a, like an hourglass, kind of the sand is pouring down into the, into the base. You're releasing tension downward. Your knees are unlocked. And you want to feel your weight centering around the balls of the feet. It's spread throughout the foot, but the balls of your feet are the, they're the bullseye. That's, that's the point of focus. You can press down with your toes and feel the, the contact of the, of the floor with the toes. And, and by establishing the, the balls of the feet, you create a structure which allows the bubbling spring points in, in, the, uh, in your feet, the kidney one points, to open. And these, uh, these are primary energy gates, the young trend points that allow the earth chi to rise. And then feel the, uh, and it also allows the yang chi that it comes down through the body, goes, uh, allows it to exit through the balls of the feet also, or through the, uh, through the bubbling spring also. But that creating that structure there with through the balls of the feet kind of softens the, the bubbling well and allows it to, to open up. Reach with the crown of your head and tuck in the chin. So you feel the your neck neck lengthening, opening the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum to drop. Feel the poles in opposition there. Feel your feet and the crown of your head reaching in opposite directions. By reaching up with the crown of the head, you're allowing the young chi of the heavens to come down. And the balls of the feet allow the yin chi of the earth to arise. Push away from the earth a little bit, just so you're, we're overcoming our natural tendency to push away from the earth by consciously doing it and then releasing down and sinking more into the earth while simultaneously reaching up with the crown of your head. Okay. Turn a little bit, really release the hip joints. So the, your sung kwa, your, everything is kind of dropping down But at the same time, reaching up with the crown. So you have this very stable foundation. Reach with the elbows a little bit so your arms are slightly rounded. And point and reach with your index fingers. Create the energetic coherence. So the idea with the liver chi is it rises up the left side of your body and circles down and descends to the, the right side of your body. So the liver energy, which is yin, that rises. The gallbladder chi is yang and that descends. And you start the, with uh, the point between the, um, your, your, uh, uh, your navel and, uh, and your genitals. And that's going to circle around. And, but it expands so that you're feeling it throughout the body and then beyond the body so that you're 
actually generating a field that uh, is uh, expands beyond you. So that, but it's up the left, down the right. So just feel into that for a moment. Once we get the idea that we let it go. We're not trying to do anything. We've established that in our awareness that that is the field. And that is the direction of this particular field, this liver chi, liver gallbladder chi. going to incorporate that energy into the um, a, a cloud hands movement. We'll start, as with some of the exercises, we're going to start big and we'll get a little smaller as we go along. So the movements, the first thing we want to do is just you want to sink into the right and turn, or I'm sinking to the left, sorry, sink into the left and turn to the left reaching with the right hand. And so there's an extension there. And that extension kind of creates a, a, a chi flow. And then we sink into the, the right leg and turn to the right. And as we do that, the right hand comes across and the left hand also crosses. And you reach out to the right. The energy is coming up the left and down the right. So we're sinking into the left now and turn. And reach and open, extend. Feel that, that opening there. So as I was talking about before, you wanna feel that reaching, but you're letting go of any extraneous muscular tension as you do that. The muscles are still there and they're still working but you are allowing the chi to do its work. You feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left and turn to the right. Reaching with the elbows, opening. Sink into your left and turn to the left. Sink into the right, turn to the right. Sink into the left, and turn to the left. Now we're gonna make it a little smaller. Not reaching quite as much. Emphasis now more on just really letting go really softening. Sink into the right and turn to the right. Sink into the left. a little smaller still, softer even. Arms are really emptying out and feeling the energy doing the work now. Feel the chi in your hands. Slow it down.
So way down and really just feel into your body, feel everything, your feet, your legs, your quad, your arms. Even smaller now. back to center and just feel into the stillness now. Feel the potentiality of all that movement. We don't think about the, the pattern of the liver chi because the chi knows what to do. It follows the pathways that are set there for it. Once we establish that connection, it brings it into our awareness. We let go, relax. your hands down. And feel into the stillness. Feel the motion in the stillness. And open your shoulders, open your chest, expand. yourself opening up rotate your arms so the palms face out and this is where uh, master young talks about he said this is where we eat the chi We eat the, the yang chi of the sky and the yin chi of the earth. Take it in and allow it to do its work. And then your hands in. Step in, take a deep breath. As you press down, disappear that chi, throw it away. Empty out, letting go of the energy, letting go of the body, your thoughts. Feeling into the emptiness, dissolving into the emptiness. Allow your mind to settle into the radical present.
Okay. Now, does anyone need a break before we go on to the next thing? Let me check that. Everybody good to keep going? All right. So we're gonna go to part two of this. I'm gonna turn my turn to the side for this one so you can see what I think it might be better. So sink into the right and step forward with your left foot. And reach out with your hands. And here again, we're feeling into that cycle up the left, down the right, circling around. Again, feel the feel the right sink into the right leg, sink down and pull back, left palm up, right palm down. Again, we'll do this big to start. Making contact with your left wrist, with your right hand, turn. Open, reach up with your left hand and reach down with your right. Left hand comes up over your head and turn. Turn to your left. Reach, and back, right leg, left palm up, right palm down. Rotate the left arm, right hand reaches, reaching out. Sink into your right leg, turn to the right. Reaching out, really feel that extension. Sink into the left leg and turn. Left hand up, right hand down, sink into your right leg, Left hand, arch your back as you come down. Take your left leg and turn. Take your right leg. Reaching, opening. Left leg. This time a little smaller, a little softer. The right leg. Turn. Left leg and back to the right. Yeah, relax, soft. This is a, um, a meditation from Baba Jung.
Bring your hands down. Relax and feel into the stillness. Feel the motion in your body in the stillness. Feel the energy moving. Feel the blood moving. What's happening is the chi is moving into the bone marrow and it's cleaning that out, renewing, and that affects every cell in the body. Step out with your right foot. And reach out with your arms. Sink into your left leg and turn. So, uh, right palm up, left palm down. Sink into your right leg and Extend big. Turn. Reach up. Arch your back. Press down with your left hand. Really extend. And down and turn. Smaller this time, softer. Softer. Even smaller. Real small now. Step back. Actually, no, just feel.
feel the potentiality of that movement. Allowing the energy to move, but the body doesn't. Hands down. Feel the movement and stillness. And bring your hands over your, your dantian, the area below your navel. And feel your hands with your, with your dantian. Feel your belly pushing against your hands as you inhale. Sound. Step in. Deep breath. Disappear the chi. Feel into the emptiness. Take a seat, please. Rick. Well, the furnace came on for the first time this fall. <laughs> I got to remember this for the winter months <laughs> because it was just like heat. Very nice. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Scott. So I don't know if um, I did it wrong or what, but the energy is swirling from my right around to the back. Like, do you ever been, you know, the remember the carnival ride, the rotor where you would, it would push you up against the wall and then the feet floor would drop out. It'd spin around and around. Oh, yeah, would, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which suck you up against the wall. Uh-huh. That's how I feel inside my body. Okay. It's spinning <laughs> up that way, not up and down. Not up and down. Okay. All right. Well, that's 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 interesting. Uh I would say trust it. It probably knows better than you what it needs. Oh, I couldn't stop it if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Valerina. 
Okay, with the first one, the wave hands like clouds <clears throat> or cloud hands. <clears throat> my when we stopped and you know uh, disappeared the chi, my left hand was achy, achy, achy particularly right in here between you know the two middle fingers, and my left hand is definitely way bigger than my right hand. <laughs> it's it's twice the size of my right hand. Mm. So interesting. Very interesting, yes. Melanie. You're on mute, Melanie. Okay. All right. Um, I'm a little confused whether I should try to mirror you or follow your directions. Because sometimes when you say, go to the right. It, if I'm mirroring you, I have to go to my left to do that. So what are other people doing? Are they trying to, do you follow me? I do. Uh, follow my verbal directions, I think, is probably the best way to go on that. I've, okay. I've, I've, I've tried to do it the other way, and it, it I get confused. So, yeah. uh, you know, so I, I, I can't translate my emotions into the reverse. So just Hear my, hear my words and execute them as best you can. And <laughs> just know that you can't really go wrong with this <laughs> if you do it with, with, with awareness and intention, if you're actually feeling into your body. So it, uh, it, it'll work better if you get it closer to the instruction, but it's not going to hurt you. And it'll, it'll still do you good if you, uh, you know, even if it's not exactly right. <laughs> okay thanks okay <laughs> jonathan um millie i i don't you're certainly not as spatially challenged as i am but one thing i have to do to do that because i find it hard when i'm not exactly mirroring is i just focus on one arm really hard like what's his left arm doing and do that and then the right arm can sort of see what the other's doing without me having to think about it but if I try to think about what both arms are doing, I get, I go nuts. I, I lose it. I'm going left, but he's going right. But, but somehow in that whole dance, I can keep my attention on that one arm. And then the other arm seems to know what it, to follow. That's and a I'm good strategy. Pushed. That's a good strategy. And we're, we're dealing with an imperfect medium here. And, and everybody gets to, uh, you know, solve the riddle as best they can. Um, and uh, like I say, you know, it's hard to do it wrong. You know, you're going to get something out of it, you know, regardless. So, uh, so uh, don't, don't worry too much about getting it perfectly. It will not be a quiz. Valerie. Okay. This is just a little footnote to Melanie. Um, this one was the wave hands, you know, the back and forth from side to side was relatively easy. The, other ones you were doing, it was hard for me to follow. It took me a while to get it. So don't let that discourage you. This was particularly, I, want, I don't want to say difficult, but a little bit more um, complicated to follow. So like I said, just don't be discouraged and think, oh, I'm never going to be able to follow him. <laughs> so you, he, just, he just threw you to the wolves tonight. That's all. That's all. I threw, threw you all into the deep end of the pool. I apologize for that. But uh, that is, uh, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to share while it was still fresh in my mind, you know, because next week I'll be on to something else. And, and you know, it, uh, this, uh, this, was, this was too good to, uh, to pass by un, unacknowledged. Well, we all get to view this again, you that's know. Right. That's right. You get to, so, you know. That's right. It's, it's, it'll be there on YouTube, so you get to uh, you get to play with it. And uh, the best part of being with you, Rick, is you never know what to expect. <laughs> and I'm new, so this is awesome. Excellent. Well, I like to keep it fresh, Keith. So, <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, anybody else? Cool. Anybody have any particular questions or difficulties with this one that? would uh, require uh, any further explanation. Jonathan. 
so I, I know, you know, I'm so familiar with feeling, feeling chi in my hand and that tingling and that heat. But in the first exercise, I, 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 for the first time, I felt, or I think for the first time, I felt something very much like waves, a very different kind of thing than just tingling. So it's, it's I don't, I don't know why, but I don't, well, of course, we're doing this whole circling thing. So maybe that, that obviously has something to do with it. It's a very different kind of exercise than I've done with you before. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And it was, you know, kind of repetitive and, right. uh, and so it was wavy in that, in that right. way. So uh, yeah, you're going to, you're going to get some of that. Uh, I felt the waves too. So it, uh, you know, it's like, Ooh, it, it's, it, it's pretty juicy. It's yeah. Pretty yeah. Juicy. <laughs> and, and good for you. So it, uh, <laughs> um, everybody else. Cool. Um, so, you know, just a note, particularly for people who maybe haven't, uh, heard the spiel before, but the, uh, the Chinese calendar is set up to follow the seasons and, uh, you know, it, you're going from winter, which is a, a state of contraction. And it's, it's uh, the most yin part of the year. And that's characterized by the element of water. And it's, it's, that's where we gather in and um, kind of renew and restore. So everything kind of pulls in and gets very quiet for the year. And that's, it's really important since we are actually moving in that direction right now, we're actually in fall, which is going from the yang of summer to the yin of winter. So as we're doing that, we're, this is the, ele uh, the element that governs this one is metal and the metal feeds the water. So the um, metal is a very, it's a yin energy, but it's also kind of a down energy. It's like, it's, it, is moving toward contraction. It's also about letting go. It's like you think of the uh, the the leaves on the trees. They're just the trees are are discarding last year's products and getting ready for the new line coming in in the spring. So they're uh, they're discarding. And similarly, in our that's the energy of metal. It's like to to let go to to throw away that which is not necessary. And um, then we go into spring, which it feeds off of the water. The water feeds the spring. And so it's like, ah, okay, that, we're going into wood now. And wood is, oh, we're starting to expand. We're going from the yin of winter and we're starting to move in the direction of yang, that is expansion. So that's where the plants are coming out. They're opening up, their, their roots are reaching down. Everything is, is moving in into that state of renewal. It's a creative phase. And uh, then we get into summer, which is fire. And that's where, that's the most young part of the year. That's where everything's expanding. It's going out, it's do, do, do it. And uh, it is our ability to execute at that level, at that high level, is dependent on having stored up enough in the winter and gone through the process of opening up in the spring to allow us to really get into that. Then in some ways of thinking about it, there's, there's the uh, uh, late summer, which is earth. And that is where we're really starting to establish it kind of goes to a center point. You're, that's where everything kind of balances out. And there's a sense of fulfillment. And then we move from that into, we start to move back toward the, uh, the metal of, of fall. So uh, that's, it. that's the calendar and that follows the, uh, the Chinese idea of, uh, you know, the cycle of construction or development and these things. So the whole system, you know, feeds off these five elements and how they interact. And we're not going to get into a, a, 
a whole lot into that right now, but that that's sort of the, along the lines of what we're doing here. So what we're doing with the uh, with the liturgy is we are introducing some of that young expansion into fall, which is a contraction. So it they are feeding off of each other, uh, so that within the the big set of 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 fall, which is the moving toward yin, there is a little subset of of this young expansion. And so there, this is the way that the systems kind of work. And we have within every yin, there's a yang, within every yang is a yin. So there's this constant interplay is occurring. And being able to attune to that allows us to, to get the most from, from each season. And um, and continue in a uh, in a healthy way. Cool. Okay. Uh, any else, any questions? Any thoughts? All right. Thank you all so much. It's been great. See you next week. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Love you guys. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.